Now on Asian Pop Radio, here's your Korean news update. Korean news update. News and current affairs that matter to you. I'm Chance Dorland with your Korean news update brought to you by Korea FM in association with the Korea Observer and Asian Pop Radio. For more independent news and talk radio podcasts, subscribe in the iTunes store with your favorite podcast application or visit koreafm.net. The concentration of fine dust particles in South Korea is the worst since 2015. KBS World Radio reports data from the Environment Ministry shows air quality from January to March of this year measured 32 micrograms per cubic meter, a 2 microgram rise compared to the same periods in 2015 and 2016. From January to March of this year, South Korea also experienced eight days of, quote, bad fine dust concentration, which matched 2015 but was double the number of bad days in 2016. Yonhap also reports that South Koreans have filed a lawsuit against the governments of Seoul and Beijing to seek compensation for mental stress they've experienced due to fine dust particles in the air. The Korea Green Foundation filed the suit that seeks 3 million won, or 2,600 U.S. dollars, for the five plaintiffs and two representatives named in the complaint. South Korea's military has successfully test-fired a ballistic missile with a range of 800 kilometers. KBS World Radio reports the weapon is expected to be able to hit any target in North Korea from any spot in the ROK. The move is the first time South Korea has successfully tested a missile of this type with a range of 800 kilometers. However, South Korea does have a farther-reaching cruise missile with a range of more than 1,000 kilometers. A Colombian expat living in Busan has been thrust into the spotlight after claiming discrimination by South Korean police through a Facebook post. The Korea Herald reports Leo Mendoza was shopping at a Busan Costco with his wife when the couple spotted a vehicle about to hit a Korean child and shouted to the driver to avoid a collision. Mendoza and his wife then reportedly criticized the family of the young child for not being aware of the impending accident which then led to the child's grandfather shouting racially charged slurs at the couple and eventually knocking Mendoza to the ground. Mendoza claims Busan police who arrived at the scene tried to persuade him from pressing charges, and after both parties traveled to a nearby police station for questioning, Mendoza was then fingerprinted and arrested when the child's grandfather changed his story and claimed that he, and not Mendoza, was the actual victim of assault. Both parties eventually then signed a document agreeing that no charges would be filed. The Korea Herald also spoke to several other foreigners who claimed to have experienced discrimination when reporting crimes to South Korean police, as well as experts who say cultural differences may sometimes play a factor in how foreigners are treated by police officers. Within a day of the incident, Mendoza took to Facebook to share his version of events, noting that South Korean police, quote, never side with a foreigner against a fellow Korean, and suggesting that foreigners should avoid confrontation with Koreans and even refrain from helping strangers in order to prevent being charged with a crime. However, since his original viral Facebook post, the Colombian expat says he regrets some of his original comments on the incident and has praised the Busan Police Department for reaching out to him to correct the matter. Describing a personal telephone call and apology from a high-ranking Korean police officer as understanding and professional. And the Seoul Metropolitan Government says it will build a new landmark at the entrance to the South Korean capital from Incheon International Airport, similar to America's famous Hollywood sign. The Chosun Ilbo reports the new project will spell out Seoul in capital letters, taller than Hollywood's iconic sign, and will be only 7 meters shorter in length. The Seoul sign is scheduled to be completed by October of this year. Subscribe to the Korea FM Talk Radio and News Podcast in iTunes or your favorite podcasting app. And for more news, talk radio, and independent music from the Korean Peninsula, visit koreafm.net. I'm Chance Storland.